Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that there were numerous reports during the rounds and even one or two comments on this channel that the updates that rolled out as part of our first patch Tuesday cumulative updates for 2025 for Windows 11, that's both versions, 24H2 and 23H2 and also Windows 10, were breaking USB DAC audio. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, just to let you know that when I posted yesterday, it was not confirmed by Microsoft and was not a known issue. Um, it was just due to comments and reports that had been spotted. But just to let you know now that Microsoft has officially acknowledged uh, in an update to its support document for these updates that rolled out as part of Patch Tuesday earlier this month, that this is now a problem. And Microsoft has said, and I'm quoting, that after installing these security updates, and by the way, those security updates, as you can see, for 24H2 is KB505009. For 23H2, it was 5050021. And for Windows 10, KB5049981. So Microsoft says that after installing these security updates, you might experience issues with USB audio devices. You're more likely, they say, to experience this issue if you are using a USB 1 audio driver based DAC that stands for Digital to Analog Converter in your audio setup. This issue, they say, might cause USB audio devices to stop working, preventing audio playback. Now, just a quick recap as to what um, Digital to Analog Converters are all about. Um, they are commonly used in situations where you need to improve the quality of your audio system and a few different situations could be where they are used for home audio systems professional music studios and portable music players that's just a quick overview regarding DAC now they also say Microsoft says that resulting from this issue the device manager if you are experiencing this issue the device manager might display the error this device cannot start and that's code 10 insufficient system resources exit to complete the APR so that's basically the error that will be generated if you see that issue in your device manager so if you are asking the question what can you do about this according to Microsoft they just recommend that you stop using your DAC audio converter which I think is a little bit cheeky and um, because they don't recommend uninstalling or pausing the updates and the reason for that is because obviously these updates carry important security fixes and as I mentioned yesterday if the negatives are outweighing the positives then I would just pause the update but go check that video out but Microsoft doesn't recommend uninstalling or pausing updates because the patch Tuesday updates had important security fixes and basically they have said that you can avoid this issue by avoiding the use of an external DAC in the connection process and directly plug in your audio devices to your PC, which I think is a bit um, cheeky. I think just telling people to stop using the thing um, is not a solution or a workaround in my personal opinion. And Microsoft says that it's working on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So there we have it. That's confirmation. I know it doesn't change anything, but just keeping you guys in the loop. And obviously, if... Microsoft does roll out a fix or there is a workaround that will actually work until a fix rolls out for these updates causing those issues, then obviously I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.